also about the um, state of emergency being lifted sometime in 2022 uh, once children 5 to 11 are vaccinated. What are your thoughts on that? Should have been done uh, many months ago because the state of emergency is about whether there's an emergency. So when a situation is under control and we're, we'll have to live with the virus, the government said it on several occasions, the, the criterion should not be whether a certain group of kids will be vaccinated. And it's a very blur uh, criterion because what proportion of kids need to be uh, vaccinated so that you lift the state of emergency? And the reason why I'm concerned is that there are mechanisms such as um, uh, making sure that contracts are allocated through a competitive process, those mechanisms have been suspended for a very long time. So we remember the Commission Charbonneau. We are currently in a context that is not preventing corruption and is putting under the carpet, uh, potentially, many cases of contracts that should not, be, not have been al allocated. So it's a very serious uh, situation for our democracy and for public funds, but the government obviously likes it, likes to give contract to whoever they deem appropriate. They like to govern by themselves through decree, and uh, that criterion, that delay is unjustifiable, and we've been asking that for three times now. Do you feel they're doing this less about public health measures, that the public health measures aren't the concern? It's, it's Not at all, because you can have public health measures without that state of emergency whereby you govern by decree and you give contracts to whoever you want. You can have public health measures. As a government, you have that power. So it's not about public health measures. It's about governing without opposition parties and without to have to go through the competitive process of contracts. And it's very serious given the billions of dollars that are at stake in the state budget.